The roads around the reservation expose a sad reality. Lives being lost to addiction and poverty. Futures falling apart. Sarah Al-Khalil knows all about it. She was addicted on this reservation. She lost her home, her teaching job, and her three kids. Sarah was barely surviving. If you can't get out of the survival mode, then you can't get clean and you can't get the support. Native Americans make up less than 2% of the U.S. population, but 10% of our homeless population. Now, a door is open to recovery on the Tulalip Reservation. 20 pallet shelters dotting the landscape. A brand new community providing the homeless and addicted with a path toward a better life. A blessing ceremony at the site today. The shelters are designed to be the first step in a continuum of care on the reservation, including medically assisted drug treatment at the tribe's brand new clinic. Housing and treatment here will cater to the native culture, helping people feel more at home while they're finding their way. Here on the reservation, we all know each other. There's trusted relationships, there's family and friends, and it can be intimidating to leave the reservation for those services. For Sarah, she's now two years sober and works for the company that builds these shelters. No longer just surviving, she's thriving from homeless to a provider of homes and hope. Yeah, it's just a blessing and I'm, I'm happy to be alive. Officials here believe all of these units will be full within about a month. On the Tulalip Reservation, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.